This is an alligator snapping turtle. This is a turtle that it has the potential to easily take a finger off if it was to bite you. Now, despite that, they're actually not as aggressive as the common snappers. He doesn't have as long of a neck, so it's, it's harder. And actually, if I need to handle him, um, just putting my hand back here, he can't, he can't draw his neck in to, uh, to bite me, so that's the best way to handle it. Uh, the alligator snapper starts out as a tiny little turtle, kind of like that little snapper I showed you earlier, and then it can grow to something over a hundred pounds. They have a really interesting behavior that they use to get their food. And that one's got its mouth open right now. And uh, if you were to look inside there, you can see it has a pink tongue that looks a lot like a worm. Now the tongue, it actually wiggles and it looks like a worm to fish. Now, if this turtle was sitting on the river bottom, you could hardly tell it from a rock or a log, so the fish doesn't even see it. The turtle sits with its mouth open, and a fish will come along thinking that it has, it has a worm, and it'll swim right into the alligator snapper's mouth, and then chomp, it closes down, and it has the fish. Now, that's actually the smaller alligator snappers that do that, that more. At this size, this turtle is eating a lot of clams, and uh, snails. They also eat fruit. Any kind of uh, animal that they can find, they eat a lot of other turtles. In a study they did on alligator snappers, in um, I think it was in Arkansas, they found that 80% of the guts of these turtles contain the remains of other turtles. Except for adult females that come out to lay, alligator snappers hardly ever leave the water. So it's really a turtle that's, that's made to be in the water. And they're not really even that fast moving in the water, but they don't have to be. At this size, they don't have any natural predators. The main predator would be humans. Now there was a huge trade in alligator snapper meat about 20 years ago. And unfortunately that caused a drastic reduction in alligator snapper populations all over. And so they're protected in most states where they live. In Florida, you have to have a permit to have one of these, and I do have a permit for the alligator snapper. And one thing that they just discovered in Florida is there are actually uh, two, two species that they didn't realize existed. We knew the alligator snappers were in these rivers, but they did DNA testing and they found they were different species. There is a species of alligator snapper in the Suwannee River drainage, and also one in the Apalachicola River drainage. And then every river west of there they're saying is another species but as they look at each individual river they're probably going to find even more species because these turtles stay isolated in these rivers they don't move across land so you don't got, get a lot of mixing of the genetics so all the turtles that are in a, in a river system are all related to each other and they're not as related to the turtles that are down river i'll kind of lift him up a little more so you guys can get a better look at him um, I'll do it for as long as I can stand because I can't hold the turtle for very long. You'll see that it has a very small plastron, like a big musk turtle. They don't need much of a plastron or bottom shell because they've got that big head to protect themselves.